Yale Fidelity Business News. I'm Jiminita Swain. The Ministry of Finance providing clarity to business owners in Grand Bahama on whether or not they can use a flat rate plan for a value-added tax. According to a statement from the Ministry of Finance, Grand Bahama Port Authority licensees with revenue under 400000 cannot use the flat rate scheme. The statement added that because licensees of the GBPA did not have to pay VAT at the same range on purchases as other businesses in the Bahamas, their net returns cannot be re reliably estimated that way. In other business news, crime and loss of asset is not just a local concern, but one that resonates with regional counterparts as well. The plan in the coming months is to bring together solutionists with preventative measures. It's a network of local and international advisors and instructors providing expert training and consulting on every facet of asset protection, loss prevention and resource recovery. That will be done during the first Caribbean Safe and Secure Exhibit Conference to be held June 18th through 20th at the Melia Nassau Beach Resort. And in international business news, Georgia megachurch pastor Craflo Dollar making headlines this time for online requests from parishioners for a gift with a hefty price tag. Dollar, who heads the Atlanta-based World Changers International, asked congregation members to donate to Project G650, a campaign to buy a $665 million Gulfstream G650 airplane. The church asked 200,000 of its members to give at least $300 to fund a luxury purchase. Shortly after the launch and the media buzz surrounding the request, the church deleted the page from its website last Friday. That was your Royal Fidelity Business News. I'm Jiminita Swain.